Hi guys, welcome back to Kenya um, to our house where we are developing two acres in a um, savanna type <laughs> climate uh, where we get 600 millimeters of rain um, as a normal year but for the last three years we have maybe got half of that or less and it has been in a very short time, like two, three months. Um, so for the last three years, I've been suffering of drought, but this place is still developing. We, the grass is doing well, and uh, we are putting some fruits and some trees. And uh, there are some that are doing well, others are not. Um, but we are doing, we thank God, we are doing better than so many others. Although we depend on the rainwater that falls on the ground, that comes from, we collect from the road, we divert it to the, this land, and also for, from the house, from the roof, we collect uh, some 15,000 liters. Um, that we, those 15,000 liters we have to sustain now for quite some months as we stay here. So let me take you around, show you what's doing well and what's not doing so well. <laughs> so the first thing, we have the wild uh, uh, gra gravelia, uh, not gravelia, uh, Acacia gerardi, uh, the rangao tree, they're doing well. Uh, they're coming up, they, they were brought by we had this mother tree, that's the, actually the landmark of this land because that was the tree that was here and then there was nothing else. It was just almost bare land, small, small grass. But anyway, all these trees have come up. There are like two, three hundred of them and they're doing well. They're growing slowly uh, and uh, most likely it's because it's not too fertile, this area where they're growing. Uh, in the Shamba some places like here, it's doing better uh, because I did a swale in this side and uh, along this swale we have bananas, you see, and then they are doing well despite just feeding on rainwater. We have not, this side we have not actually given much manure or anything. Other sides we have given more manure and uh, that's a fruit paddock. This one uh, is uh, still to be developed for trees, so we have not put a lot of effort here. And it's not so fertile. That place is more fertile, and up this side is more fertile, getting more water from the above land to be collected here. So we are seeing that where, where <laughs> there's more water or there's more manure, things are growing well. Um, and uh, we have some fruits that are doing well, the bananas, the mulberry is doing very well. Um, and then we have some other trees we are put in the in the boundary, some gravelia. They're growing well, but we have a big problem. They are eaten by termites, so many of them are dying. We have brought this one from the highland. This is the podo tree. Um, it's being burnt a bit, but it has survived these three years of drought. If uh, we now get a year of uh, good rainfall, we expect it to be growing faster. So this is a tree that firstly establishes its roots and then come. Then we have uh, uh, the Marmaroi, Melia volkensi, volkensi. Uh, coming up here in the shade, doing okay. Uh, Uh, we have a bird, so I can't go too near. Uh, so the many birds have come because of these small trees. Then we have an olive tree coming up there, doing really well. And uh, where well, it's fertile, we got some grass. Uh, and uh, the area we had some grass. We've been grazing a bit, and now we are diverting into a 
few goats, we have five goats that are for, for milk. So we are giving them some grass and then some small leaves from, from these trees. And uh, we can see that uh, this uh, Marquette is doing well despite small rain. The Gravelia is doing well. Uh, those ones that are not eaten by termites. You can see the Acacia Gerardi. And here you can see uh, the Croton Megalocarpus who puts itself in the swale. It's growing faster. And those ones that are after the swale a bit, where uh, water is not coming so much, it's just rainfall, they are not doing so well. They are growing very slowly. And they are, I guess this one was even planted later than this. So we are learning now that time does not matter so much, but water and fertility. So those are the things that we focus on. We are adding some features for the, the water to, to travel to more places in the Shamba. And we are adding also manure. Uh, because here is a Samburu land. Uh, around us is a lot of Samburu maniatas who depend on sheep, goats and cows. So, especially here we get a lot of sheep and goat manure, that is very nice. In this area, uh, we had many avocados and many uh, uh, tree tomato, like this one. And they have failed, uh, they cannot handle the drought. Uh, and avocado, uh, few of them are surviving. Out of maybe 200, we still have some 15 of them. Then we have some a few yakaranda. They are doing well, growing very fast, growing very fast. We have some some other trees. So in this in this small fruit forest, we are mixing you know fruits like this mulberry, avocado, banana, and then we have some. Papaya, we have some chilies. So we're mixing them with some trees that um, are support species. And uh, one of the best support species is the Melia volkensi. It's growing really, really fast. Imagine this is just two, three years, two and a half, I think. And it's almost three, 3.5 meters, four meters something coming. And it's in the swale, uh, so that makes a difference. There's a swale from there up to where the house is. The mulberry is doing well, this is an older one. Then we have planted more. Uh, the Croton megalocarpus, uh, the Marguet, doing really well. Uh, you can see it's becoming a forest because of those trees. Very easy to plant from seed. Uh, yeah, it's Espana, uh, doing okay. We have uh, uh, castor oil doing its purpose. Uh, doesn't have much leaves now during the drought, but when it rains, it shoots and it gives some, some mulch material because they dropped the ground. And then uh, we have some older gra uh, gravelia, even them have been eaten by Termites, so they're growing well here, but uh, termites is an issue. And you can see an avocado dead, another avocado almost dead, avocado there, it's, it's still okay. So that's, I think, what we are doing here. We are having some papaya, and we're having this for salis, it's doing really well, uh, although. Uh, it dries up a bit now, but it will come back if it rains. Croton megalocarpus. Another Melia volkensi. Banana. We have a, that uh, Acacia gerardi. This is the mother tree. Yeah, it's 
So, and then we have some uh, kales that we just uh, give some mist. And here you have the papaya, you have the uh, tree tomato. So here, there's a place with more <laughs> more water in the ground and more manure. Here is another uh, Melia volkensai, doing really well. And we're trying to keep some, some small vegetables in the shade of the trees. This one's are newly planted. And we just give them some mist, like that the, we are trying to mimic the dough. And then this uh, is another very nice tree, uh, Leukenia. So this, uh, this one we harvest for the goats. And the croton we harvest for the goats. Uh, and the mulberry we harvest for the goats. And even this one we harvest for the goats. So you see. Have some they get some seeds and they get some leaves this is really nice food and this like we believe it's a medicine the melavon can say we believe it can maybe the warm them so we collect all these things so we get some we have some goats in the grazing area here the grass was finished by cows first now we give them to goats, and we're actually planning not to take cows here again, but to grow these grow goats and keep them the whole year. Uh, now the number is five, maybe they will be more. And uh, for the cows, uh, we have given them one acre, and uh, we calculated it was about 300 and. 330 cow days uh, that we put them here <clears throat> and uh, not too bad and the other years we have been having we've been saving the grass uh, the whole year and until the drought and we are putting the cows this year we were putting the cows three times so it rained became green we put cows it rained again became green cows so we did that but now instead we will have these goats they are eating their main food is is grass here but uh, they're also eating some shrubs and then we give them some extra feed uh, this this materials and especially this one is the mother for the small one So she can get some nice food, some extra food. We used to have many, uh, many napia grass. So that's once so we have to start over again. <laughs> so this is a new feature. They will be staying here the whole year. Instead of, instead of us taking cows here uh, a few times per year. And one goat can give us about one liter of milk per day. So now we only have one milking, but with time it will increase. So it will sustain us at least as we stay here. We will have enough milk for our tea. So that's the new feature actually for this year. And also the security feature. It's also new. We have put this uh, Mabati for privacy and security. And uh, the security is mostly because of this, these goats. Uh, they, many people like to steal them. So it will be harder for them now. And uh, it's because mainly we are not far from town. Town is down here, actually. And on the other side of this mountain. So yeah, there was there was one month of flood in September. 
there was one day of flood where the water came, 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 but it stopped uh, in all these trails. And uh, no water went to, to the next neighbor. So we have seen swales are doing well. We, we built this one 2017, some five, some six years ago. It's still okay. And then they like to graze on this tree, the spania, which is okay. Yeah. So also this middle shamba, we have a paddock. Here no cows were grazing. So this was the grass that uh, came. So we still have some grass here. It's about uh, one foot tall. It has dried now, but we are still going to give the goats to graze here. Uh, and then uh, we believe it will push us until um, the rains come. So if it's one month, two months, three months, it will be okay. These goats seem to be very easy to maintain. And, and then again, we have a uh, but now we have now a town coming this side that wasn't here before. So the first thing that is coming is the steamer, the electricity. And then we are expecting again uh, roads to be, be improved and also water to come one day. So this, the goats are self-contained very much. We use only the produce from the shamba, but this one we buy, it's called labai. So these leaves we use for uh, putting the water and then spraying the animals because of uh, loisusu, perderla, and um, the fleece. And then we also buy some salt for them. that they, they get some salt. That's it. The rest of the things, they eat the grass and uh, they eat what's growing here, even some beans. It's a very nice one. And then even the remains from the skuma, the kales, the cabbages, uh, the spinaches. This one, the ugly ones, we give them. And here, imagine this, we only give them some small mist. Very small water. We spray with that, that spray you give, uh, we give uh, also the labai. And they sustain themselves. And here was where we had cows. So cows were staying here, uh, dropping urine and manure. It's very, very fertile. It's a big difference here, and you see other people's uh, skuma. And security is a very important feature. Uh, this place is not safe, not like my home country, Sweden. Here you have to protect yourself. Uh, nighttime especially, there's some issues. And then you see the other places. This is my neighbor. There's nothing here. You can see it's a little bit green, but not much growing in these areas. Then this side up is also my neighbor, where we are sharing kind of the development. This part will be part of the shamba, but for now he's using. Uh, and me, I'm developing this is a main road, and uh, we're taking now water from the main road inside. Uh, and we are seeing it's improving this land, it's also improving my land because the water goes in and it slows down and if there's extra water it will enter to my place 
and the water that slows down goes down in the in the ground helping um, the big roots of these trees to, to take the, the ground water and we are seeing also that many trees are coming now this is a bit more green than when you compare uh, the other lands here so we also have this thing here we're harvesting sand we're harvesting nice soil and then we every year we make them new so that water can easily flow so we have one two three four places where water enters and here is the main main area and we get some sanitoy and this flower and other trees coming and this one you normally find in the in the river this one you normally find in the river and when we were digging here even if it doesn't rain for two months there was some some it was wet inside uh, yes not very far and even here is where so many animals come to graze um, for this uh, this person who lives here so that's the development this time uh, and we'll see now how this uh, dry season takes us we will see uh, what will happen this year but I am positive and I do believe that uh, this year will rain a lot there will be a big difference in this chamber because we are having many trees that have seed, that are dropping seeds um, and if it rains we expect many trees to come by seed and uh, the forest area over there will come to be nice so I hope you learned something new until next time